Hey everyone, Matt here. Welcome to tonight's tour. Today we're in Wimbledon Village. I'm going to be showing you around this house behind me that's four bed and four storey. I know you might be thinking it only looks like two storey. but This is a very deceptive house, almost like a TARDIS. It just keeps going. It's priced at £3.35 million and listed with Daniel from Finding Country Wimbledon. It's a very popular area this. Simon Cowell owns a property just up there and lots of other celebrities and famous faces too. Let's go start the tour and let's start in the front area. You see we've got some fantastic lighting throughout. There's off-road parking for two cars. We have two access points to the garden. So on the left side and the right side, and that's gated. There's an electric car charging socket here. So perfect for a new property. And here is the front entrance. Let's work our way inside. It's a complete smart house. So you can control everything from the iPad system here. Um, so you can actually download that to your phone as well via an app. You can control the front door, you can control the heating, the alarm, the audio system and also the lighting. So from upstairs, obviously we're over four stories, if someone's at the door and you want to let them in, you can do that from upstairs so the door will unlock and open automatically. So if you click this button here, it automatically opens the door. Pretty cool, so right? you could tell the delivery driver to just drop your parcel yeah. and pull the door shut. Ideal for the Amazon deliveries. All right, so in the entrance, something quite interesting you'll see is we do have an elevator and this goes down to the lower ground floor, which we're going to show you soon, and also the first floor. But let's start the tour over here. So at the front of the property, we have a home office. Very essential these days. You have underfloor heating throughout the property. Yes. Automatic lights in the downstairs WC with lots of LED surrounding. Over here is just some storage space. Okay, now towards the back of the property, you have this living area. Now this isn't the only living area in the house. And there's also an access point through a door here. So if you wanted to come into the house from this side, you can do, rather than going through the front door. And you've got a seating area outside too. You'll see, if you take a look up to the ceiling, these lights are quite interesting because you can have them popped out like this, or they actually automatically go up into the ceiling and look like regular spotlights. We'll show you what that looks like upstairs. You've also got an air purification system which is being built in at the moment, so that keeps the airflow nice and fresh, helps with allergies and stuff. Okay, let's go downstairs. Do you want to go take the lift or the stairs? Uh, let's take the stairs. Take the stairs, okay. The stairs haven't actually been finished yet, so these are going to be left for the buyer's choice of yeah. what they want to do. What would you choose to have here? Would you have glass? Would you have any other type of product? Let us know. So on the stairs, there's a concrete and wood finish. Now this down here is got to be the best area in the house and we were totally surprised when we came down here. So come on through. Here's the elevator, as you can see. Over here is a cinema room. So through these black doors, you've got your own cinema room. Um, you've got surround sound built into the ceiling. You've got LED lighting all the way around that you can change the colour of. Let's see if I can change the colour. Yeah. There's there we pink. Go. Wow, that's bright. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then behind you, Summer, this is going to be a built-in wine cooler but it will actually be accessible from both the cinema room here and the kitchen, which is the other side. For me, this is the best part of the house. This is the kitchen family area, somewhere where you're gonna spend most of your time. You've got speakers throughout the ceiling where music will automatically come on as you come down here. We have turned it off for this tour. A lovely center island with the marble effect worktop and a variety of storage throughout lots of different style sliding drawers from spices to cutlery and everything in between so starting from this side i'm guessing that's just a cupboard yeah an interesting cupboard with shelving 
Let's take a look at the sink. So they've gone for a white and gold finish. Yeah, quartz sink. Over here we have Miele microwave and ovens. And you've got the five ring gas hob on the island, which is a smeg hob. And then the extractor built into the ceiling above. Whereabouts is the fridge? I assume that will be over here. Oh yeah, so fridge and freezer through there. So just imagine getting your coffee in the morning, coming down and music automatically playing. Yeah. Concrete flooring, so ideal for hosting events here. You haven't got to worry about people damaging the flooring. You can have lots of people through here. And then these doors either open directly like this or like a bifold, they will actually pull all the way open. Like so. And these ones do the same as well, so you can literally have it completely open. Check out that wall as well at the back. You have two garden walls, LEDs on the steps up, and then behind there, there's actually some more lawned garden area, which we'll show you towards the end of the video. This is definitely my favorite room of this house. Yeah. And I guess where you spend most of your time. Let's show you this area a little more. So a snug seating area. This is an Imagine Fires electric fireplace. And you can move that around, can't you, wherever you want it. Yeah, so behind that you've got TV points for another TV on here. And because it's an electric fire, not on the wall, you could have a TV there, it'd be okay. Through here is just some more storage. Let's show you the other side of this lower ground floor. So a couple more storage areas, plant rooms where the piping, boiler and everything is. This here is a guest bedroom. So this will be the fourth bedroom in the property in total. The other three being on the further floors. So in here you've got a big skylight, some bespoke cabinetry over here. And you also have some wardrobe spaces there and another window in that corner. So moving around here then, what you have is a downstairs loo for everyone to use um, when you've got friends around and then a shower for the guest bedroom. That's the shower. Utility with two more storage cupboards, which also has the plant room um, machinery and stuff behind there. Okay, let's head up to the first floor. Okay, I'm gonna take the stairs. Okay, see you up there. Here we are on the second floor then. So. Let's head into the main bedroom. So immediately you have walk-in wardrobe. Both sides are matching. It's like his and hers. Lovely ensuite with marble effect tiles, dual sinks, freestanding bath, and a big rainfall shower with views onto the garden. And you'll see that up here we have the sash windows to match the, I guess, character of the street. Um, but they are all double glazed. So old fashioned looks, but with modern technology. Here's a look at this side. Okay, so then the bedroom is on this side, the bedroom part. And we've got some nice wall detailing. And again, two big sash windows. Okay. And finally, just got some more bespoke cabinetry in here. You've got some more storage space in here. Okay, automatic lights are on for the ensuite for this room. We'll make sure for all the rooms, we'll have put the measurements on screen so you can see how big they are, get a better bearing. OK, 
Okay, now there's some more bespoke cabinetry throughout here as well. That's all built in, so it looks really sleek. Now we're going up to the second floor. Here we have a ideal kids bedroom area because come through here. This floor has just this bedroom and the bathroom. So it's very private and you've got some cool storage cupboards or hidden cupboards. So a big one through there. That's a big storage cupboard too, but there isn't a handle on there at yeah. the moment. There we go. That's cool. And a big skylight. And a big skylight up here. And a window just there. So the bathroom's the other side. Let you check that out. Let's go see the garden. So from out here, you can get a better look of the garden areas that you have. So up these steps, Property certainly looks a lot bigger from the back from here because you can see the basement level. Yeah, it's quite deceptive from the front. We've got a lot of down lights and LED lighting throughout the back of the house. And I know the night, the night photo of this property looks really good. I'll pop it on the screen somewhere here. And so this is the other area, it's sort of astroturfed at the moment. You've got a couple of fairly mature trees. And that about brings us to the end of this tour. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that like button, like this video if you enjoyed it, obviously subscribe if you're not already and you wanna see more tours. We've got some amazing ones on the way. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.